So this is a story that I always enjoy telling, uh, but I tell it with complete permission of everybody involved. <laughs> Oh, one That's of those crazy. stories. One of those stories. So for those of you who, who may not know me, my name is Jeanette. I used to be married to Mel Recky. He's the one who brought me into the SCA. And so we were both so new in the SCA, we squeaked. And he really, really wanted to fight. But he was in this, I don't know if you can. 20 some years ago, when you first started in the SCA, you didn't have the best choice of leather armor. So he's in this big carpet armor. He looks like a walking tank. But he's out there, and I'm the supportive girlfriend, so I go out to fighter practice with him. And he's having the time of his life. And there's an out-of-town knight there. And this out-of-town knight and I get to talking in between fights. And he is instructing me about armor. Um, he's mansplaining me armor. <laughs> and I'm a scientist by nature and understand the science behind armor. And so we are having a lively talk <laughs> about armor. And then he goes and he hits my boyfriend in the head a lot. And we have an interesting fighter practice. And we go home, and I promptly ask, because he never introduced himself, I ask my boyfriend, who was that asshole? <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, that gentle goes home to his wife and says, I met my next squire. <laughs> So this is about that first meeting and my first meeting with his wife, by the way. And so I am less than thrilled. But Malraki had a great fighter practice. He had a great time. So we go to a local event. It's a big event for Atlantia. It's a mirror. It happens in February. It's cold. It's miserable. It's wet because it's outside. All Atlantean events are outside for the most part. And so it's February in North Carolina and it's raining and it's muddy and I am having the worst time. But he is in armor and hitting people with a stick. So he is having the best day. <laughs> and so we get to the end of the day and he comes to me and says, I've had a wonderful day. I had you know, I lost a lot, but I had great pickups. This night that we met at fighter practice spent a lot of time with me, and we had great pickups. He wants us to have dinner with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I have had the worst day, and I don't like this man. <laughs> and I, because I... I didn't have any spoons left. I looked at Malraki and went, do we have to? <laughs> and he's like, I'd really like to. <laughs> and so I fall for the puppy dog eyes. And um, Malraki's like, it's, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. His wife's cooking a hot dinner It'll be fine. His wife's great. And I'm thinking to myself, well, she married an asshole. How great can she be? So I am wrapped in, I am wearing all my layers of garments, wrapped in this enormous cloak, damp and miserable. And we go all the way across site to the cabins where they're staying. And I walk up and this wonderful lady. She is beautiful and I immediately think she is the most kind and wonderful person in the world because she walks up to me, hands me a hot baked potato, puts it in my hands, tells me to cuddle it and says, we have meat and potatoes and we're glad you're here. <laughs> 
And I immediately fall in love and think she's the best thing since sliced bread. Uh, but then that dude's sitting there. <laughs> so I sit over with his wife, and Mel Rackie sits over with Sir Damon, and we both have the most amazing time and decide much later that we're going to join their household. But there was nothing like those first meetings. They left such an impression on me. And I still love those people like their family. And by the way, he is still an asshole. <laughs>